We're here at the Santa Barbara International Film Festival speaking with... Scott Saunders, director of The Nature Makers. Nice to meet you, Scott. Tell us a little bit about your film and uh, your experience so far here at the festival. Uh, we just got here to the film festival, but I've been to this festival before and I love it. It's a great film festival. This, this film uh, is called The Nature Makers and it's about three teams of wildlife biologists who practice what one of them called extreme conservation. And basically they, they use resourceful and sometimes um, unusual techniques, sometimes involving heavy machinery, to try to uh, protect and restore threatened species and habitat. Shami Anderson, Senior Representative Defenders of Wildlife. Nice to meet you, Shami. So tell us a little about your organization. Defenders of Wildlife is focused on endangered species recovery and their imperiled habitats. I work on the Great Plains with the Rocky Mountains region. My assignments are endangered blackfooted ferrets and bison, restoring bison to tribal and public lands. Wow. And how did your, uh, your company and your organization get involved with the Nature Makers? Well, the Nature Makers came to the Humane Society and Defenders to uh, feature our prairie dog restoration work. Prairie dogs and the habitats they provide are really important to a whole host of uh, species, including the endangered black-footed ferret. And so we do rather extreme measures to uh, take prairie dogs from conflict areas where they're going to be poisoned, um, typically in conflict with livestock grazing, and we moved them to conservation areas where we have endangered black-footed ferrets or where we're going to reintroduce them. And so sometimes it's extreme in terms of what, what we do to actually make that happen, and that's sort of the premise of the Nature Makers is what we do to save endangered species, and prairie dogs are a big part of our effort. Tell us a little bit about your organization. What the Crane Trust does is reestablishes habitat in, in south central Nebraska along the Platte River, uh, primarily for migrating birds and in particular cranes, uh, but it benefits the whole ecosystem. Okay. Um, and how did that end up fitting in with the nature makers? Did you get approached to be talking about it? Or? Scott contacted us a couple years ago because he had heard about our work. Uh, there's only about 10% of the water in the Platte River that historically was there. Uh, used to clean itself. Giant ice flows would come down and clean it. Uh, now with that little bit of water it doesn't. It gets overgrown with trees and, and grasses and islands. Good. And what happens is that the cranes can't use it. They're looking for a wide open river. And so we physically go in and do what nature used to do. We clean the river. And, and you're going to see some really amazing uh, work that the biologists there do. And, and so we reestablished. So we've reestablished over 25,000 acres of prairie and along the river, and and clean about 50 miles of river. Right. What's the message that you want audiences to take away from this film after they've seen it? That's a great question. Um, I just think one thing that we all have in common is our love for nature and our love for wildlife and our love for animals and that our choices and our actions do make an impact on these animals. And if we can have support and we can work together to create innovative solutions and solutions for these animals, we can keep this legacy of nature and the natural areas alive for future generations. And we need your support.